Hey y'all, it's Becca here with Becca's Easy Recipes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making prison style uh, rice bowls and it's got very minimal ingredients. Um, it's normally what you might find on commissary or steal from the kitchen. <laughs> so let's get started. Today I got some carrots. I have some broccoli and cauliflower mix. You will not find that on commissary or the carrots. Um, I got some rice. And this is just uh, extra long green rice. It's what I had on hand. Um, I have a yard of beef. Of course, we're not going to be using that whole yard of beef. So I just cut a piece off that I'm going to dice up. And... I have some chili garlic sauce and this guys is pretty spicy so a little bit goes a long ways so now we're going to dice up everything and go from there okay oh and I do have one packet of sesame. see this is one of my favorite seasonings you can use it on just about everything just about okay so let's get to chopping and these carrots are already kind of sliced so I'm just gonna dice them up kind of small see their little, little chips so these will be pretty simple to dice up you can put however much you want to Like I said, you couldn't get these on commissary, so you probably would have to uh, steal them from the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm not condoning the stealing, guys. And this is a really simple uh, recipe pretty much whatever you got on hand as far as uh, vegetable wise and everything that you would get on commissary like you could get the the garlic chili sauce on commissary you could get the sesame packets you could get rice um, you could get beans of course the beans were freeze-dried and uh, so all you have to do is add water to those. Do a few more carrots. think that is good okay now I'm gonna dice up these uh, broccoli and cauliflower chunks Guys, if you never had this, it really is very good. Very, very good. I'm gonna try just this much right now. I'm not gonna do the whole bag just yet.
hope you all been having a great week so far. I know it's only Tuesday. But mine's been going great so far. Fixing out to do taxes, so I'm not too happy about that. But who really is? <laughs> And if you've been where I've been, then you know what this is all about. Like I said, you want to kind of do this a little small, you know. We used to do stuff like uh, cook up some ramen noodles because they did sell a lot of ramen noodles on commissary. And sometimes they would sell like tomatoes or avocados. I think it might have been a fluke thing that we got those, you know, like by mistake. <laughs> but they did sell them for a little bit. And so you could get avocado and stuff and you get the ramen noodles and crunch them up real small, mix it with the, you know, you cook them first and you mix it with tuna fish. And then they did sell uh, corn tortillas on commissary. So you throw those in the microwave and cook them until they got real hard, you know, kind of like tostadas. And you mix that all up, except for the corn tortillas. And you put them, uh, you mix it with like a mayonnaise and stuff like that. Like a tuna salad. And then you smear it on top of your hard shell corn tortilla. And you'd have a tostada. And it was actually pretty good. <laughs> of course, when you're in prison, you, uh, can't be too picky of what you get. Right? Okay. That looks good to me. Let's put all this to one side. And now I'm going to dice up some of this here uh, summer sausage. I think I'm just going to do half of it because that's a lot of meat. <laughs> Said no one ever. Okay, I'm gonna slice these and then I'm gonna dice them up really small as well. Now, I got 
very monster so there. Cut the other way, make them little small cubes. Just be careful, don't cut yourself, y'all. You see? That's all you gotta do. Just little chunks. Okay. Now, off to the stove. Okay, now I'm at my stove. I got my pot. And what I'm gonna do next, if, if uh, you had oil in prison, you could use oil or butter. I'm gonna use some of my... Um, Roasted garlic oil. And I'm going to turn my burner on to 5 or medium heat. I'm going to put about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil in the bottom of my pot. And I'm going to let that uh, get warm while I get my other stuff and bring it over here. this on. I'm going to swirl this around to tilt the bottom. And in prison, the way they would do it is if uh, you had a microwave safe bowl or a trash can cut in half that was uh, used for cooking instead of garbage, then you can use that and throw it in the microwave and just um, cook it, stir it up, cook it, stir it up until it started frying. So we're just going to use the stove top here in my pot. I'm going to get about half a cup of rice to one uh, cup of water later on. So, got my little measuring cup here. I'm going to use this to stir it with, so I try not to scratch up my pot too much. But I'm going to go ahead and throw this in. And I'm going to throw my sausage in at the same time. And what this rice is going to do is it's going to soak up all the sausage juices and give it an awesome flavor. And I did wash my hands before I turned the camera back on. <laughs> I'm wash my hands again. tell you that sesame and chili garlic sauce were two of the big staples in the big house 
So you pretty much use those in everything. So now we're going to stir this around and we're going to keep stirring it until the rice starts to fry, get brown. And then we're going to add the rest of our stuff. So while I'm going to do this, um, letting it brown and stuff, uh, which will take probably about, I don't know, maybe a good three to five minutes. So uh, I will get back with y'all then. Okay. 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 I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to fry up nicely. It's not real, real brown. It's just a light pan. You can cook it a little longer and get it browner if you want to. Totally up to you. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my cup of water. And really, this is the only seasoning you'll need because the sausage has plenty of salt in it. And the sasson is, of course, garlic and onion and stuff like that. But then this, the chili garlic sauce, has garlic in it and chilies and whatever else is in it. So I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of this into my pan here in pot and that's all you're going to need because it like i said it's pretty strong and that's all there is to that i'm gonna let it get to boiling real good and then i'm gonna turn the heat off And I'm going to turn the heat off right now. I don't really have a lid that fits this, so we just got to do with what we got. So, I'm going to take this off the heat. And I'm going to go ahead and add our vegetables. Because with the steam, it's going to steam them up uh, in the pot. Because we still want our vegetables kind of crunchy. Okay. Stir it around just a little bit. Look at there. Y'all, this is going to be so good. Okay, now, I'm going to put the lid back on it. We're going to let it sit for about 20 minutes or so. And we'll come and check on it. Okay. See y'all pretties here shortly. Okay, y'all. Let's check this out. Ooh, looks good. Mm. I'm going to get a fork. And we're going to fluff it. Look at that, y'all. I 
Don't tell me this does not look good. Mm. I think we shall try some, huh? Let's see. I'm going to get a spoon, get my big fat arm out of the way. <laughs> Hopefully the rice is done. Hey y'all. Let's give it a try. It's so colorful. Bon appetit y'all. That's freaking good. Needs to cook a little bit longer, but not too much longer. It's just about ready. I'm gonna put the lid back on it. But y'all, when you fry the sausage with the rice, the sausage secretes all them delicious oils and the rice just soaks it all up. And gives it a huge amount of flavor. And the vegetables are still crispy. Crunchy, you know. But steamed at the same time. And it's not too spicy from the chili garlic sauce. Just gives it the right amount of kick. So you guys have to try this. For real, for real. It's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man. I know it's rude to talk with your mouth full. But can you blame me? <laughs> That's good stuff. So, if you like this video, y'all, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say that I love y'all. And just remember that you're smart, you're beautiful, and you're everything that God made you to be. And don't let anybody tell you any different. Okay? So, until next time. Bye, y'all.